everybody, Fantron here, and today we're going to continue on with the last bit of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Evil is drawn oh, to no, this no, place no, like no, a moth no, no, to the no, flame, no, 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 no. and I could not at that moment deny that I myself had Ignore returned. This. Now, as I look back, I see the crooked path that I had been set upon all those years before, leading me inexorably to this moment. I can still see her face in my mind's eye. Poor dear Laura. Such a sad tale as ours. A tale of heroes. Okay, anyway, try let's try this again. All right. So I played a little bit through. I didn't finish this one. I think I only finished this one level and I was just like, all right, cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah, let's just start from the beginning. It seems like only yesterday that I stood there upon that cliff top, looking down into the abyss of my life. Everything that I'd ever loved taken from me. Defeating the Lords of Shadow had been a hollow victory. Now I was on a journey. A journey that I could never imagine in my darkest nightmares. As I stood there contemplating my fate, a voice entered my thoughts. A cry for help that I could not ignore. A debt was owed. A life for a life. And what was left of my broken humanity felt obliged to do the honorable thing. To repay that debt. Looking back now, I realize that none of us has any real control over our fate. We are like leaves on the wind to be blown wherever we may. Aw, shit. So this pretty much takes place immediately right after the game. cutscene at that point in time, yes, it does describe, it's pretty much going to be leading up to those events of how that happened. Gabriel. So if you didn't watch the ending first, that Hear I uh, posted me, in the finale, then you're an idiot. I need your help. But this takes place immediately I, after the game is over. I am afraid. It's not safe for me here anymore. I have no one left to turn to. Gabriel, you must help me. This whole entire sit down is going to be just the DLC, and we will be finishing up this game once and for all. And then we can move on to the second game after this, which is called Mirror of Fate. Unfortunately, it's not Lord of Shadows 2, because that Mirror of Fate actually has something to do with some of the characters that we see in Lords of Shadow 2. It'll explain a lot of shit. And to be honest, the time gap is too fucking large for that. Now, you start off with the same amount of health you left off in the boss fight. Keep that in mind. So if you are one of those people that like to play on hard difficulty like me, you're shit out of luck. Now I already beat this level, so I already know what to expect. And we are going to be fighting. Finished. 
be able to do trials for those specific things, and then it gets you more experience at the end of your at the end of the level. I don't know what the trial was, so I was not paying attention. So I'm guess I'm not supposed to hit the skeletons at all, but I don't know. Well, it takes like 20 years to kill things. How dare you attack me? Oh, I guess she got hit. So something like that. I don't know. You came. Come here. Follow me. Chantel, close the door. So she's going out there making all sorts of goddamn noises. I know how you're feeling. Alone, betrayed. You're gonna get in trouble, Irene. You get used to it, you know. That isn't true. Or you would not have spared me that day. Do you now regret it? You called me here. Why? You've destroyed the Lords of Shadow, but in doing so, you have unleashed a greater evil. And what is it you want me to do about it? A powerful demon is coming. A creature that knows no pity or mercy, and who is bent on destroying this world. Very few know that long ago, before the Lords of Shadow came, there was a fierce battle here. The three founding members of your brotherhood fought a creature called the Forgotten One. This creature had been summoned by the evil Bernard family, who owned the castle at the time. But things went badly wrong for them. The Forgotten One escaped its bonds. The founders knew they could not destroy the Forgotten One, so they waited for their opportunity during the fight and locked up the demon in a dimensional rift that they created using their combined powers. This fortress was used for that prison, and the Brotherhood built new areas around it to house the creature deep within. As you know, years later the Founders transcended as heavenly spirits, in the process creating the Lords of Shadow. It was not by chance that my mother chose this particular castle. Carmilla hated the other lords, but she feared what could happen if the Forgotten One should ever escape. You have destroyed them, and so the power that kept the Forgotten One locked within his prison has been weakened. It's only a matter of time before he breaks free and returns to the world. 
I care not for the world or its problems. Then you are a fool! The creature will simply reduce this world to ashes in revenge for centuries of captivity. Everyone will die. There will be nowhere to hide. We are the only ones with power enough to stop him. Tell me, would you have the souls of the innocent on your conscience for eternity? Then show me what I must do. Alright, now here comes a really Mother once told me puzzle. that the entrance to the ancient fortress of the Brotherhood was in this room. But I'm going to show you a simple solution to get it all done and you'll figure it all out. Each thing in here has a place for it to be moved. It's the, it's the chessboard, obviously. I mean, they wouldn't advertise the shit out of it for no reason. There should be a. Where's my camera zoom in? We must find the entrance, Gabriel. Oh, we can't even break. Wow, I didn't even know that that was like that. Anyway, there's a dude over here, I think. Where's that ice? That's ice. Okay. There's all the dudes that I had here. Fucking gone. But anyway, you'll pick up a uh, a scroll, a scroll back there. Now the simple solution. White one, column four, two down. I think it's two from the raid. And two down. Next one is the black lichen. You don't have to move these in a specific, specific order, but you do need to have them, you know, there. Uh, white vampire. Four. Four down. Row four. Black Vampire. Column three. Six down. And the freaking Necromancer. Column two. Row four. Black one. Column 5, row 3. It should have been rain. Or am I doing this wrong? Columns. Oh, whoops. Did this all in reverse. Let me try this again. <laughs> Fuck. Stop it. Column 
six row. Column two, row four. And column five, row three. Did I do this wrong? Let me see. Those two are supposed to be right next to each other, which they are. actually be right. The F. Trust me. Uh, no. That should be it right there. One, two, one, two, one, and one. That should actually be the solution right there. So how did I do it wrong? black one, where it's supposed to be. Let me look again. Black, white, black, white. Okay, maybe I need to flip it. this. Okay. That's on the three, and then this one's on two and four. Necromancer needs to be there, and the two lichens need to be facing this way. Oh, come on. Is that correct? Oh, black and white need to be switched. vampire all the way at the bottom on the fourth line. And then the white necromancer, white vampire. And then the two... Yeah, that, should, that should be it. There's not a space in between them, is there? One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. That should be it. Pretty much all you have to do is combine all three images, and that should be what you should have, but for some reason, the game is not giving it to me.
Anyway, that's the end of that mission.